Hello everyone, and welcome to my EastEnders Media News channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Jade was shocked to learn that Dean Wick had been charged with Keanu Taylor's murder. But spoilers for EastEnders reveal even more surprise. The real murder charges slam Walford's villain in the face. Fans of the London-based soap opera are aware of the identity of the murderer of Christmas. With a little assistance from her friends, Linda Carter carried out the deed. However, when Keanu's body was discovered beneath the cafe floor, things took a bad turn. Will Dean be able to clear his name when the drama finally resulted in his arrest by the police? Spoilers for EastEnders, Dean begs Jade to believe him to be innocent. EastEnders spoilers state that Sharon Watts was handcuffed as a result of Keanu's decaying corpse. The Six chose to place the blame on Dean in an effort to clear her name. The women were fully aware of his pitiful past, so it was an easy decision. As a result, Stacy took action and hidden the murder weapon in his apartment. Gradually, the cops united and placed Dean in the electric chair. Jade, on the other hand, found it difficult to deal with the arrest incident and has been hanging out with the Slaters ever since. She was even more disgusted when she learned that Dean had tampered with her medications. The evil character set out to make Jade ill in order to prevent her from traveling to Pakistan without her mother. Dean then called Stacy, Jean, and Harvey names for conspiring against him. To the consternation of all parties concerned, the police soon knock. But hey, what do you know? To salvage the day, Jade Masood leapt into action. According to EastEnders spoilers, she supported Jean and the allegations made about her old man's dubious activities. In addition, future episodes allude to Jade's shock at receiving a message from Dean. He asks to see his daughter in prison. However, the Slaters are panicking, believing it to be a bad idea. Jean and Stacy then attempt to dissuade Jade from doing it. But at Avani's departure party, Jade receives some really thought-provoking advice. Will anyone believe Dean when he says that he didn't kill Keanu or tamper with Jade's meds while he's in prison? You inform us. Meanwhile, Jamie Borthwick, a cast member of EastEnders, bravely addresses his followers. The actor shared details about his therapeutic path. This weekend, the serial star will run the London Marathon in costume to benefit Prostate Cancer UK. Jamie, who plays Jay, talked candidly about his personal health issues prior to the major race. Feel free to read Jamie's thoughts on the subject. Jamie on EastEnders talks about his health issues. Viewers have witnessed Jamie's Jay Brown on EastEnders preparing for the major race in remembrance of his television wife Lola. The deceased persona succumbed to a brain tumor. Jamie then disclosed that his father and uncle were both diagnosed with prostate cancer demonstrating how deeply the disease has affected his family. Not even his cousin could escape the grip of the deadly illness. First, during a conversation with the Mirror, Borthwick discussed his anxiety. The famed character from EastEnders also referred to himself as a massive hypochondriac. I wake up every day and ask myself, what's wrong with me today, he said. After going through therapy, the actor acknowledged that he was well, but he will never totally heal. He also talked about the terrible moment he broke down when he found out his father had cancer. But because of the early diagnosis, the physicians had things under control, so Jamie felt a little more at ease. Thankfully, Jamie's uncle and father made a full recovery, but there was a catch. The EastEnders actor is more likely to develop prostate cancer himself because of his family's history. Jamie also talked about this one time where an infection alone gave him the shivers making him think he had cancer. Jamie had previously declared, my sister ran the London Marathon 4 at Prostate Canceric 17 months ago. The former cast member of the soap opera is using his marathon run to spread the word about prostate cancer and motivate men to get checked out early. Jamie also expressed his gratitude to his supporters for their love and support. In addition, Jamie and Emma, honey, will race for BBC children in need while dressed as characters. They will work on a portion of the marathon course that will be shown on the program. We are very forward to see them in action on the field. Please be advised that EastEnders will not be airing on television tonight. 
Spoilers for BBC One's EastEnders indicate that the show will not air at its customary 7.30 p.m. time slot. Rather, they are throwing in a garden rescue episode. But fear not, E! enthusiasts. The regular 30-minute trip to Albert Square last night lasted an hour instead. That's when you got your fix. For those who were not present at the event, below is the complete rundown. Spoilers for EastEnders, tonight's schedule shakeup. Spoilers for EastEnders said that Ian Beale became very emotional as he gathered his family to honor Lucy Beale. Cindy, meanwhile, was having a hard time accepting that she was no longer in her late daughter's life. Cindy was living in Spain at the time with George. The mother whose daughter was killed by her own half-brother would therefore undoubtedly become consumed by remorse. Yolanda Truman experienced a horrific outcome at the charity function across town. Spoilers for EastEnders suggest that Pastor Clayton waited patiently for the ideal opportunity to sexually abuse Yolanda. She later reached out to Elaine Peacock in an attempt to reveal her excruciating ordeal. As the flashback suggested, this wasn't his first experience. In addition, Elaine encouraged Yolanda to be honest with Patrick Truman, but we'll see if she follows through. In any case, remember to attend the subsequent EE dosage on Monday, April 22, at the same location and time. EastEnders spoilers indicate that Yolanda will have a difficult time dealing with the fallout from her attack. Meanwhile, Whitney and Zach experience a tragic collapse due to Britney's Usher syndrome. Honey and Jay are preparing for the London Marathon on the other side of the water, but there's a unique twist. While running for charity, actors Jamie Borthwick and Emma Barton will film sequences. Jamie is in favor of Prostate Cancer UK, whereas Emma is in favor of BBC Children in Need. Their characters on the soap opera will run in memory of Lola Pierce, who tragically died last year from a brain tumor. We sincerely hope you enjoyed viewing the unique drop. Tell us your best moments from the previous evening. John panicked out loud at the penthouse that he hadn't been able to get through to Brady on his phone. John told Marlena, they ought to be back by now. Teresa brought Tate back home. Marlena inquired, what's wrong? Teresa clarified that it was an overdose by Holly. It's not looking good. And Brady has been arrested for supplying the drugs that put her there, stated Teresa. Tate gave a head shake. John inquired about specifics. Holly took pills that were laced with something, Tate stated. John thought it was crazy when Teresa told him that Brady had claimed the medicines. I don't know any more than what he said, but I'm sure the police are going to let him go once they hear the whole story, added Teresa. John told Marlena to stay with Tate and said he would head down to the police station to see what he could do. John walked away. Teresa told Tate to keep his lips quiet while Marlena warmed up some milk in the kitchen. Teresa stated, Brady and John know how to navigate the system. Tate countered, I was doing just fine. I don't need them to. Tate said Teresa didn't care about Brady, so she let him take the fall. Teresa declined.